Does your diet and nutrition play a role in your risk of cancer? Well, Dr. Megan Indermauer is back, a gynecologist oncologist with Women's Care Florida, to share how improving one's diet can actually reduce your risks of cancer. Welcome back. Thank you. you. I'm great. How about yourself? I, I'm doing well. And, and this is a topic, of course, I feel like every day there's something like eat this, don't eat this. You know, this causes cancer. This doesn't cause cancer. I mean, it absolutely can be overwhelming. So I'm glad we're talking about this what do people need to need to deal with what do people need to keep in mind as they're living their regular life I agree it's completely overwhelming even for me um, even talking to patients every day about diet um, I think the most important thing to understand is that um, you have to make lifestyle modifications in order to reduce your risks potentially of cancer. And if you're actually a cancer patient, um, those lifestyle modifications can make a huge difference with regards to survival um, as well. Um, there are a lot of books, um, internet articles looking at diet, and it's extremely difficult to kind of weave your way through that. Yeah. The most important thing is to reduce um, the amount of fat in the diet, um, the amount of simple sugars in the diet, so simple carbohydrates, pastas, um, potatoes, and um, reduce the amount of red meat in the diet. Those things all um, can, uh, increase obesity, which increases the risk of cancer. So, so the only diet that actually truly has been studied in the cancer world is the Mediterranean diet, yeah. which has all those qualities. They have complex carbohydrates with brown rice and big uh, hearty grains. Mm -hmm. uh, they eat mainly white meat, lots of fish, olive oil, mm -hmm. things that kind of keep you healthy. Um, you want to stay away from processed foods. Those all kind of, uh, from a number of ways, increase inflammation, increase uh, fat, and lead to obesity. And so that's more what you see, is when you're talking with patients, the obesity is what really can I don't want to say trigger, but can possibly complicate or make worse. Am I understanding that? Yes. Right? So actually, obesity increases a number of different cancers. It's a extremely high risk for endometrial cancer, yeah. as well as breast cancer, um, and men it's prostate cancer and colon cancer, as well as a few others. So if we could watch our weight decrease our weight, so then that's probably one of the best things you could do for your health, not just from a cancer aspect, but also heart disease and yeah. other diseases as well. Overall, you know, we were talking about lifestyle changes, but of course there's still that factor, and, and maybe this is something else we hear in the headlines, the gene, the genetic risk of getting cancer. What do you see in your practice, and, and specifically ovarian cancer, what do you see as far as genes go when it comes to so about 10 to 15 percent of cancers will be hereditary, meaning that it will be passed from family member mm -hmm. to family member. Specifically with ovarian and breast cancers, the BRCA genes, um, mm -hmm. we hear about them all the time. Mm -hmm. But there's also something called Lynch syndrome, which is a hereditary uh, gene abnormality also that leads to endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, and colorectal cancer. So we can't necessarily modify the genes, but mm -hmm. you can modify lifestyle to hopefully help help prevent potentially those cancers if you are at high risk for them. If people do think that they're at high risk and feel that they've got some symptoms, going ahead and getting checked now, is that the best advice you'd give? Getting checked, um, changing lifestyle, as I've said multiple times, which is not just diet, that's also increasing physical activity, mm -hmm. um, which you have to do, especially as you get older, more activity um, is gonna help you lose that weight. You know what, these are good topics. Thank you so much. And again, I know we've touched on it in previous segments, but it, it's a whole umbrella. You can have a gynecologist in Women's Care Florida, and that can just lead you right if they have to have you and have to have the surgical elements yes. that you're able to provide. Again, this was so nice talking with you today. If you want more information on anything that we discussed today, or have any other questions dealing with women's care, we'll of course get in touch with the fine folks at Women's Care Florida. There you see all the information on your screen.